Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned like how to draw like uh, the same plots using hold on function. And without hold on also, I used uh, the multiple plots to plot multiple plots without hold on and with hold on. And in this particular video, let's discuss how to use like multiple plots using subplots. So subplots means you just divide into various boxes and plot it in those boxes. So now let the things be, be the same. Even remember the lil space can also be replaced in different way. I'll show you that too. And now firstly, let me use the subplot function. Now. Let this legend be as it is. And others I'm just rewriting it again. So I'll just use subplot. And let me show you the syntax of subplot too. So subplot in MATLAB is used to create grid of subplots within a figure. So, and the basic syntax of a subplot is like this. Subplot comma M. M which denotes the number of rows in a grid. Let me show that too. M denotes the number of rows in the grid. N represents the number of columns. Number of rows comma columns. And then what is the position of the current subplot? And this is the basic syntax uh, of using the subplot. Now let's create it. This means in the second row, second column, uh, let me show that too. We'll just start coding here. Uh, now, let me give subplot of how many rows. I wanted to plot a total of uh, maybe, let me tell you, I'm going to plot five rows. Uh, no need five rows. That's a huge amount. Maybe three rows. Let me try in different ways, okay? Uh, Two rows and three columns, which would be of six graphs. Okay, let me do that. Or let me give two rows and one column. Is it possible? Like you get two graphs. Okay, let me go with two rows and three columns. And for now, I'm in the first graph. Subplot of one, where I'll be plotting. Plot. I'll be plotting x comma. Uh, some sin x I'll give randomly and then similarly I'll specify for six different functions now now subplot I'm in the second row so let me just visualize the diagram first so I mentioned here that I'll be having two rows and three columns two rows and three columns right so it would be like this Two rows and three columns. So this would be my basic uh, thing I would like to mention here. So this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's see. In the first column is this. And in the second one, let me mention it as cos maybe. And uh, I'm going to plot cos x in the second one. And in the third one, in the third, uh, I mean, yeah, in the third one, I will be plotting maybe exponential graph. EXP is the thing for this. And then going on with another, how many? Three done. Fourth one. In fourth one, what shall I do? I'll just use a simple X or X plus one. And another subplot x dot power square and i hope you know the difference for example if i use dot uh let me tell you this now so i'm taking a array which contains the elements one two three four five so if i use directly x square it would just multiply this is the x okay it just multiplies the whole matrix into the whole matrix that is it just squares right so square is nothing but x into x but if you use x dot exponential of 2, this would consider each element and square it. For example, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25. And I would like to mention this difference, okay? So now, okay, now go, let's go further. Uh, where am I? Fifth, sixth, oh, there's the fifth one, right? And there's a fifth one. And the final one, which is my sixth plot or the current place I'm working. And let me take that to be maybe uh, like one of the different functions, maybe x plus uh, x cube. Let me take x cube. x 
cube. I'll just run it without dot and with dot. Maybe you will just understand uh, with that. It's just warning, not an error, remember. And if you see here, this is my subplots, as you can see here. And remember, uh, I let me show you here, like whatever thing I did here. So if you see here, uh, this is my first. This is my first one, second one, third one. And this is my fourth position, fifth position, sixth position. So first one is my sine x graph, right? See, this is my first one is my sine x plot. This is sine x. And second one is cos. Third one is this, what is third one? It's exponential graph. Uh, fourth one is x plus two graph, which is passing through the intercept two, as you can see here, two. I hope you can see that. The intercept is 2 over here. And then going further, it's just taking time to just zoom in, okay? And uh, then later, what can you understand? And this is exponential, this is x plus 2, this is another x into 2, and this is x cube graph, right? And now let me do this. The legend is an error here because I haven't specified those many things maybe i have to specify each and everything what is this uh do you think it's really necessary i hope you can do that too right maybe i'll just erase three graphs or let me just mention it this is exp right exp of x i'll just enter it maybe i'll just try running now Maybe I have to specify at each and every, like the bottom. Because, okay, okay, fine. I have specified previously the entirely ones, but now I'm not sure regarding this. Maybe instead of trying again, try here, let me do it like this. What I do is I just mentioned like legend, some plot, each of the subplot specified by the followed by the functions. I'll just run this. Hmm. Most probably should be in, yeah, see, sine x cos x exponential. So, and there is the final, like subplots. This is the difference between subplots uh, using, uh, this subplot. In previous case, we learned like in a single graph, we plotted everything. And I hope you're the row with this of using subplots. And in the next video, we'll be learning about one of the interesting points to be noted that is how to draw a tangent let's see the next video bye bye see you next video